Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and today we're going to be testing a uh, pretty ridiculous prospect that some people have that if there's a meteor coming towards the Earth, we can just nuke it and everything's going to be okay. But as we all know, uh, Universe Sandbox 2 does not follow the same rules as the real world, so let's see as <laughs> realistically as we can in a game that isn't 100% realistic. Uh, can we basically uh, stop a meteor from destroying the world using a nuke? Um, and it, it, instead of a nuke, we're going to be simulating a nuke using a very, very large object. So here we have our incoming meteor, and that's going to be moving towards the Earth. Now the question is, can we stop it? So this thing is big. When it impacts, it's pretty much going to destroy Mexico and probably knock the world's uh, climate out and basically cause very, very bad things to happen. Very large. What's our radius here? Oh, a radius of 20 kilometers, um, which means its diameter is 40 kilometers. So this is no, this is no joke. This is huge. Um, but how are we going to stop it? Now, this is an interesting question. Uh, realistically, we'd have to find a way uh, other than using nukes because this is just absolutely ridiculous. But this is a game, so what we're going to do is we are going to do exactly that. And we are going to plop down our own smaller object because, you know, our nukes are pretty tiny. Any smaller than this and it won't even take it into effect for the physics. So we're just going to stick with 2014 RC being our nuke. And now the part of the nuke that's going to hurt is the speed at which it collides into the other object. Sinisker is the name of the asteroid we're currently trying to stop. And it's going to be an interesting one. So let's aim our nuke. Um... This will be done by pressing, unpausing for a second, and then we can change the direction of its velocity, and we can make it go towards, towards this here meteor. It's going a little bit low. How about now? That looks kind of good. Um, now we need to increase its relative velocity to like a kilometer per second to three kilometers per second. That's not going to do enough. Uh, five kilometers per second. Okay, here we go. Then we just need to make this line line up with the meteor slash asteroid it's not a meteor yet because it has a hit the atmosphere and there we go maybe not maybe a little bit higher this is very hard to do there we go that's perfect and let's see how this works so now our nuke oh accidentally clicked on earth there our nuke is going to crash into it and we'll see what happens here we go can we save the world with our nuke? What a great question. Here goes our nuke with a ridiculous amount of force that's going to slam into this asteroid and hopefully shatter slash slow down. How fast is it going right now? Two kilometers per second. So if we can just bleed some of the velocity off of it, it would save a lot of damage on the Earth. Uh... So let's zoom in on here and see our tiny little nuke, which is much larger than any weapon we'd make. Let's see what it does when it hits. And any second now. Boom, it's hit. Has not barely even impacted it at all. So congratulations, uh, our nuke was a failure. But have no fear, we will now make this slightly ridiculous. <laughs> Even more so ridiculous.
We just have to line up another weapon. And all we have to do is this one we're going to speed up to... Let's do one hundredth of light speed. Let's see if this will be able to stop it from destroying the world. And all we have to do is first rename it. Then we just have to go here and set it to 0 0.01 light speed. Slow things down quite a bit so that this doesn't instantly occur and everything is basically lost. And now we just go to edit and make sure it hits. We have to make sure it's going the correct direction as well. Oh, was it at zero before? Okay, this is working, and now we just need it to go in the correct direction. I think that's going to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit. And let's see if our nuke going at 100th the speed of light will do what it needs to do. We may actually not be going in a adequate direction here. That, that was a little bit extreme what we did. Come on, nuke. Our, our weapon targeting systems are kind of failing at the moment. Nuke, go in the direction we need you to go. Darn it. You were going all over the place. Here we go. That looks like you're going to slightly miss... So let's fix that, and a slight tweak once again, and I think that's going to do it. So let's see what impact this has. Much, much, much smaller than the object that's coming towards Earth once again, but you know what? It could work, maybe. The amount of speed it has uh, is pretty ridiculous. Its velocity is higher than anything we'd ever be able to get going ourselves. But let's see what happens. Um, now our speed of this asteroid here, our velocity. Let's see what happens when the new kits. Eh, okay, will it slow it down at all? Will it have any impact? No, not really. No impact. Anything we shoot at it is just too small. This was expected, by the way. Uh, I, there's no way you could have expected a tiny little thing we set up, even filled with all the firepower we have to do anything. And you know what we've done? We've created fragments, which are just going to cause more explosions. So um, I think we can confirm that there's no way we are going to save the world. And now all the little fragments are coming down, along with the big... Ooh. And the world <laughs> has been destroyed because we have failed to save the world. Um, this brings up the question. What if we matched its size? What if something was coming towards the world? <laughs> Somehow, we managed to match the size of that object and get it going at a reasonable speed. Could we reasonably still save the world by uh, smashing something into another object? Could we push the fragments away fast enough? So what we're going to do is we're going to use... Uh, let's, let's use a bigger object. We'll use Shoemaker Levy. And we're just going to put this here. And we're going to zero velocity it because we don't want it to have velocity. There we go. Going in the correct direction towards Earth. Here we are. This bad boy is how big? Um, 700 meters. Let's put it to 100 kilometers across. So now this is scary. This thing is huge. This is what we need to knock out. And then... Actually, let's flip this. Let's try to hit Chirico away because this Shoemaker Levy is slightly smaller than it. So we'll use Shoemaker Levy as our attack. So let's see how this goes. If we zero velocity this, it will go straight towards the Earth. But we've got Shoemaker Levy here who 
if we do this properly, we can edit its velocity, make go towards Toriko instead. And if we do this, we can now give it a lot of speed, like ridiculous amounts of speed. Let's let's go and do what we did before with one hundredth of light speed. Um, and let's see if this much power smashing in to a giant, giant object hurtling towards Earth. Will this be enough to stop it? Because this now has a ton of mass. It's a pretty even battle. But the question is, will the fragments even make it worth it in the end? The results may not actually be uh, livable even with this. So here we go. They've collided and it appears that Chirico is actually being pushed away from Earth now. The amount of uh, force applied seems to have pushed it completely away which this is success kind of but look at all the fragments <laughs> so the main amount of mass is actually being knocked out here but the amount of fragments left over some of them very large could actually go back to impact earth we'll keep an eye on that but the main thing is that yeah this is actually kind of working knocking it out of the way is slightly successful now these are both going way too fast for the Earth to pick up their uh, gravity again and hoist them in. So has Earth survived this? Is that it? I think these fragments all missed. So, although in real life there would be millions of fragments and at least some of them would hit Earth. In Universe Sandbox 2 it seems that by using this strategy of knocking it extremely hard we can actually save Earth. At least temporarily until these slow down what's the velocity at yeah that's not really slowing down over time over time the gravity of earth would slow them down although they're so far away now that it would take basically infinity time for that to happen so look at that good job earth you survived um we have rescued earth by uh, nuking definitely a nuke nuking an incoming uh asteroid but it isn't how uh well it's exactly how i thought it would happen honestly i for people who think that you can just nuke an asteroid no that's not how it works and there's your proof um all it would do is cause a slight amount of small debris that would probably burn up in earth's atmosphere uh not do any more damage but it wouldn't help the problem at all uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time.